Good morning everybody. As you can see, we literally just woke up and Ruby, well, she's sterilized now. Two days ago we spayed her because she was so uncomfortable. She was very much in heat. I will show you a video right now. And the only solution was to basically just sterilize her. And that's what we did now, but Ruby's not really that good. <laughs> Look at her plastic because she wants to eat the scour that she has right here. And today is a Sunday here in Cyprus with a lot of activities to do, with a lot of recovery, a lot of relaxing. So definitely stick around and let's start with the video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, somewhere is the scar, you have to be careful. Ruby. No. Your head is a bit too big to go out now. You should stay inside anyway. Yeah. So, this is it. As you can see, they even shaved the hair. And there is a little scar. And yesterday I took off the plastic so that she can eat and she immediately licked the scar and also try to open it which is of course not good <laughs> i was actually against spain the whole time but when i saw how much she's struggling when she's in heat i i did it and um i think it's a good decision i will explain to you later on what are the benefits and disadvantages but now a friend of mine just asked me if we want to go into the sea and have a workout. So I said, yes, of course. So I'm not doing a coffee at home today. I'll drink a coffee outside. Good girl. You're getting used to it already. I'm just gonna go out for two hours, not longer, I promise. See you. She's meowing much less though. Much, much less. She used to meow so much before she got sterilized. And after the surgery, she's much more relaxed and also she recovers so fast. already see some people running and swimming stretching very active it's an active island here but first what I'm gonna do is drink a coffee and work a little bit I'm just gonna sit right here right by the water and look at these locals <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool, it's 7 a.m. in the morning and they are having a blast here with their friends. It's cool. I want to have a friends group like that as well. That was a good swim. Now we are going into the sauna and then back home. It's a bit dirty right here. All of this is like seaweed. They should clean it up. We have tourists coming here soon. I'm picking up another friend now that I'm going into the sauna with. He's a Russian. So obviously we're going into the sauna. Hey, who are you? Oh, ho, ho. What's up, bro? 
Nice to see you. Good morning. Давай, давай. I said, I'm picking up the Russian. <laughs> Tourists are here already. The holiday season starts, but no one is in the pool because it's still quite cold. It is it's protecting the house. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's a friend of yours one day in Cap St. George. Yeah. He was German also. <laughs> I started jumping on him. <laughs> That was good, but now it's time to eat something, of course. I didn't eat anything today, and it's like 2 p.m. No, it's not, it's 12. I like this area a lot here. It really looks very local, the Mediterranean. And look at this view. It's one of the most stunning views. This ship over there, I don't know what's happened to it, but it's like abandoned for years now. But now we will go for a quick barbecue at my friend's place. I just went upstairs to charge my phone and I saw the sea view that my friend has. Look at this. <laughs> All the way from the left to the right. That's an amazing sea view. Sergey, your sea view is amazing. <laughs> so this is our steak for today, two beef steaks. And this is the barbecue. Very exciting. All right, uh, let's go. That looks good. Now let's put some salt on top of it. Oh yes, you guys know that I love steak. Uh, a little bit more. <laughs> back home and Ruby is waiting for me I'm sure about that there you go Ruby Ruby don't worry we will go out in a minute but not far. Ruby, is it hard to eat? <laughs> Do you have to? Uh, she needs it to be very high so she can reach it. I hope you can drink, but I think yes. Oh, finally home. Took a little longer than expected, but uh, I had a good time. Ruby was sleeping. I saw her on the CCTV security camera. And now we will relax a little. I'm gonna do some work, then we will go out, then I'm gonna tell you some more information about the surgery of Ruby and yeah typical Sunday in Cyprus Ruby I can hear you coming Ruby let's work together come on good girl Ruby That's my stuff, Ruby. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> um, excuse me? Are you alright? So what do we got? A lot of food. 
and my self-made coffee, of course. All right, that looks good. Uh, pita bread with hummus, chicken, and cheese, and this is my breakfast. to have your hair in my food. <laughs> what? I don't steal it. Relax. <laughs> okay, that's me that I'm laughing, Ruby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go. By the way, if you wonder why there is a mango over there, um, hard to explain. It's Sunday and um, yeah, well, I always clean my house in the evening, <laughs> so it didn't happen yet. But the reason for this mango over there, I recorded a video right now <laughs> for my Instagram. It's a funny video about uh, Cypriots and them choosing a name. It has nothing to do with a mango, uh, but you will see it on my shorts videos anyways. <laughs> I don't know why. I come up with the most random ideas about doing funny videos or cool videos and I just do them the same day. I don't even overthink it. I literally just create videos like that and I even have food in my mouth because I just want to be real, you know? I don't want to show only the perfect side of my life. I, I want to be real to you because we are all the same. Ruby, I know you want to clean yourself, <laughs> but I can't take off the plastic because you are eating the scar. Ruby, have you been to the barber? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oi! Okay, I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. Bye bye. I think it is time to go out, Ruby. Let's go into the garden. Ruby's very weak actually, so I don't even need the leash. But now she's very... <gasps> Ruby, careful. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> All right, while Ruby's climbing over there, I wanted to explain why I decided to spay her even though I was against it for a very long time. So I always wanted to have baby cats, of course, from Ruby the Baby Cat. And I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to just let nature do its thing. And I thought that, yeah, nature just knows what it's doing, so I don't need to change anything. And a lot of people agreed with me on that. But when I saw how she reacted once she was in heat, so she wanted to have made basically and wanted to have kids she wanted to have intercourse um, she felt very uncomfortable she was very much uh, uncomfortable she cried a lot and she meowed so so loud the whole day uh, all day the whole day and at some point it was also <laughs> very complicated for me because I couldn't concentrate on my work she was so loud and I didn't want her to go out because as soon as she would go out she would um, not come back until she is pregnant basically so that's very risky for her of course because she would just run around find a male and then get babies and just then she comes back but until this happens a car could hit her she could run away she could not come back I made my decision and I think I made a good decision you can definitely leave your opinion down in the comments I'm very curious about it but well now I've done it so there's no go going back now but also what I found out is that uh, when I find other kitten on the streets for example here in Cyprus and there are a lot <laughs> she could adopt them and she could also 
uh, get the mother feelings that I wanted her to have so much. But yeah, I don't know. I felt a bit cruel in the beginning because I was like, maybe she wants to be a mother and how, who am I to decide for her to just sterilize her. But now that I see her running around again and not crying so much because she doesn't have all of those hormones in her body now, I think maybe I, I probably did the right decision. And everyone is doing it here in Cyprus. We have a big cat problem. We have 1.5 million cats and 1 million people. Uh, yeah, so all of the cats, all of the stray cats are sterilized and spayed. They usually recommend this. Well, you want to go, Ruby. Go big. You're still sick. <laughs> How did you get in there with the plastic? <laughs> it's dark outside already. That was an adventurous day, but it was a quick day. You know these days where you're doing so much and suddenly it's dark again and the day's over. That was today for me. Meal number two for today. Or three, two or three. I'll check later when I edit the video. Now I'm going to enjoy my dinner. After that, I will finish up some work. I worked a lot on my content strategy today. So I was planning about what videos I will create in the future. If you have some ideas about what content I should create, what you want to see on this channel, definitely leave a comment down below. I'm very curious about your opinion as well. And other than that, I will go shower. I will make myself some tea. I will cuddle with a ruby. And then we are just enjoying our Sunday and getting ready for the next week. There was another vlog oi, <laughs> with Rico Go and Ruby the Baby Cat. And we will see you in the next video.